Making sense of over and under. Mastering English prepositions. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving deep into English prepositions, specifically focusing on the usage of over and under when it comes to indicating covering or crossing. Mastering these prepositions will help you express spatial relationships with more precision and clarity. So, let's get started. First things first, we need to understand the basic definitions. Over usually means higher than or covering, while under typically means lower than or beneath. But in English, prepositions often carry other meanings and implications based on the context, and that's what we're going to uncover today. Let's talk about over. When used to suggest covering, it implies a sense of protection or enclosure. For instance, she placed a blanket over the baby, means the blanket is covering, and thereby protecting the baby. When over is used to indicate crossing, it signifies passing from one side to another. For example, we walked over the bridge, suggests you moved from one side of the bridge to the other. On the other hand, under signifies being beneath or lower than something else when used to suggest covering. For example, the cat is hiding under the table. Here, the cat is beneath the table. As for crossing under implies passing beneath something. For example, in we went under the bridge. You're saying that you moved from one side of the bridge to the other by passing beneath it. Now, let's practice with some examples to cement your understanding. 1. The sun disappeared over the horizon. Here, over indicates crossing. 2. She wore a hat over her head. In this sentence, over means covering. 3. The train passed under the tunnel. Here, under signifies crossing. 4. The dog slipped under the fence. In this context, under means covering. Feel free to pause the video and make your own sentences using over and under for covering or crossing. And that's it for today's lesson on the prepositions over and under for covering and crossing. Remember, prepositions can be tricky, but with practice, you'll become more confident in using them. Don't hesitate to re-watch this video or write out your own examples. Keep practicing, and you'll master these prepositions in no time. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.